What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Eric's Garage. We're going to see if we get this old tractor to run. So this here is a 1964 Farmall Cub tractor. Um, these tractors were produced from 1947 all the way to 1979. There was a couple different versions. There was a round nose and a square nose. This happens to be a square nose cub. Uh, I just picked this up. It's still on the trailer. And we're going to see if we get it running. So to get this thing running, we're going to need to do a few things. Um, this is a six volt coil. So I'm going to have to find a 12 volt one and uh, find us a battery. See if we get this starter to work and figure out a fuel system because this tank has seen better days also we're going to take this carburetor off i have another one on the shelf we'll uh, put that one on since i know it's good and ready to go while we're here let's check the oil oh, that don't look too bad all right so we're going to do a little rob peter paypal type deal here i'm going to steal the coil and the carburetor off of this tractor so we can see if the one on the trailer will run. I'm gonna go ahead and get the carburetor off of this tractor. This tractor did run, so I know this one should work for what we need. All right, there we go. Now we're just going to reverse the process on this tractor. I'll get this carburetor off, and we'll get the coil swapped out, and then we'll work on getting a ignition system rigged up so we can see if this thing will pop off. It's like they used a nail or something. Uh, um, put this in here. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, that broke off.
There we go. I went ahead and swapped on this uh, adapter from the old carburetor to the one we're going to use. So we can connect our fuel line. All right, there we go. Carburetor is installed. Governor is free. I don't feel like there's any slack in it. That's good. Put our dipstick back in. Now I'm going to get you guys in here. We're going to pull this coil out, and we're going to pop the distributor cap off and file the points with some sandpaper just to make sure we get good spark. So some of these tractors came with uh, the early ones were six volt uh, positive ground, and then later on they switched to a twelve volt negative ground. But they all uh, you pretty much could set them all up to be uh, a uh, negative ground system. You just got to change a few wires around, and it'll be good to go. Now that'll come loose. Alrighty, there we go. There we go. Success. Let's see if we can fit this guy in here for now. Might just have to set it up in here. There we go. There we go. I just want to be able to get in there where it won't fall off. Let's see if I can get you guys in here to check on these points here. slide this out the way so I don't uh, mess up these spark plug wires. Inside of that looks pretty decent. So I hit the camera there. Alright, there we go. There's our points. See if I get this in here. We're just gonna sand on that for a second.
All right, that should be good to what we're trying to do here. Let me get this cap back on and then we'll get to hooking up some wires here. Some of our spark plug wires popped off, but I ain't ever gonna take them off anyway and get them out the way. All right, that'll clip into place. I'm going to get these spark plug wires hooked back up and I'll be back with y'all. All right, I went ahead and hooked up the, the switched power from the ignition switch and got the wire from the coil going to the distributor. And all I need to do is get a battery. Switch seems to be working. We'll know here in a second once I get a battery hooked up. All right, I got the battery from my trailer winch here. Um, I gotta tighten up on this ground real quick. Let's see if we can get it a little bit better here. There we go. All right, we should have juice. Let's see if this thing will spin. That's rusted off. <laughs> no big deal. We just do it right here. Nothing. All right. Heck yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to shoot little brake clean in the carburetor here just to see if it'll bark off. Ugh. Got dust in my mouth. There goes nothing. Now I need to see if we got actually power going to the coil. This switch might be bad. So we'll check that and see what happens. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hook up a little jumper wire here to bypass our uh, ignition switch so we can uh, see if this thing will pop off for us. Try not to lose these nuts, they're so small. All right, there we go. Tighten that guy up. There we go. All right. Now, let's plug that in there. I'm just going to rig this up where it'll make connection here.
Alright, let's see if that did anything. The starter switches. Wonky. Squirt of juice here. No, no spark. Why would that be? Ah, that's loose. Let's see if we can fix on this real quick. Oh, that's tight. Again. Well, yeah, something going on there. Let me try sanding these points again. Let's take this off. There we go. Let's hook this back up. Let's see what we got here. All right, we got spark now. Let's see what, if that did anything. Gingerly put this back on. Spark plug wires are coming off because they're so old and stiff. All right. All right, let's try that. Juice here. I had to go make a new wire to go from the coil to the distributor because I think the one I was on here is bad, so we're gonna pop this one on.
that. All right, now let's see if we got voltage going all the way here. But I don't have it hooked up. Duh. Helps if you have it hooked up. Like twelve volts. All right. Now let's see what that does. So now we're going to pop the hood off and see if we're getting spark. Because should be doing something. Alright, now we're getting into the good stuff here. Let's see if we got this fire in order right. Double check it. We got one. one. Helps if you have to fire in order, right, Eric? Oh, they're going crazy. That does. I'm gonna go find a spark plug to plug in here and test. All right, I got a spark plug. We're gonna pop in here and see if we can get a. Uh, Get us a, a spark here. Let's see if we can find a good ground. Everything's so rusty. Come on. That spark. She's playing. 
hard to get. Pop this number one spark plug out, make sure it's at top bit center here. All right, I had to let my camera charge back up, but what I did while I was away, I uh, popped all the spark plugs out and hit them with a wire brush just to get some of the soot off. And I also put the engine at top dead center so I could check the distributor timing to make sure we are on point because this thing should run. It's got spark. So um, I'm going to set y'all back up. We're going to pop this cap back off and... See what it's looking like. All right, so if I pop this cap off, I should be able to tell right away if our timing is close. Well, we are close. Let's see here. Let's, maybe these spark plug wires need to be swapped out with something a little better because they are. Uh, actually, we were off. That should be. So when this thing's timed properly, the pointer on the uh, rotor button should be pointing in line with this notch opposite so uh because on the distributor cap there's a number there's a put it on it all should line up with this so the distributor is in slightly wrong but we should be able to make it work with this all right i went ahead and uh Got the distributor timed properly. I uh, put some different spark plug wires on it just so we have a better chance here. Get a little spritz. Let's see what happens this time. starter is a uh, junk so I'm gonna swap this starter out for a different one and see if we get the rotational speed up a little better all right so I had to rob the starter off of my personal tractor because this this one down here is tired and on its last breath so it turns over a lot better now so I'm gonna get it all wired back up here and See if we'll get it to pop off. All right, here goes nothing. Might need to put some more juice in it. We're gonna do it with the can of spray. Nothing over here. All right, so I went ahead and I put the starter from my other tractor on here. I swapped the distributor out, rechecked the timing, and let's see what it does. Look at that. Well, it runs and you'll look to see why it doesn't have full pressure. 
But hey, it runs. So at this point, it's pretty obvious there is no oil pressure. I went ahead and removed the oil filter to see if that had something to do with the engine not having oil pressure. And to my surprise, the oil filter looked brand new. Mind you, I pulled this tractor out of a field where only God knows how long it's been sitting there. So obviously someone tried to get this thing running at some point, put in a new filter. The engine didn't have any oil pressure and they gave up. If these old tractors sit a while, it is possible the oil pump will lose its prime and will result in not having any oil pressure. Sometimes you get lucky by priming the pump. To prime the pump, remove the oil filter cap and also remove the filter. If you look closely, you will notice a small hole in the top corner of the oil filter housing. Take you an oil squirt bottle and squirt a little oil in that hole. Turn the engine over for a few seconds and then squirt a little more oil. Repeat this process and the oil pump should prime and start pumping oil again. All right, it's a little bit later in the day. As you can see, uh, my folks came over for lunch. So we went and had lunch with my folks, ran a little few errands and... Uh, before I left for lunch, um, this thing didn't have oil pressure, uh, so I dug into it and figured out what was going on. Um, I just basically had to prime the oil pump, squirt a little oil in there, rotate it a few times, squirt a little more oil, rotate it a few times, and eventually you should be able to get it to prime and you'll have oil pressure again. Um, I got it back together, put air in the tires, and I'm going to roll it off the trailer here and see how she runs. tractor running uh if you want to see more videos of it let me know what you'd like to see maybe we'll fix it up and sell it who knows thanks for watching bye